Hello everybody, my name is Marc-Alexis Côté. I'm Creative Director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and today I will be taking community questions. So first question from Kabir Singh. What was the most difficult challenge to overcome while developing the game? So I would have to say that the biggest challenge that we faced was the integration of systemic vehicles that the player can use uh, throughout the city. Uh, this forced us to change the way we think about building the city, uh, thinking about streets first instead of thinking about just a layout of buildings and, uh, and making sure that we need to optimize the engine to support the player uh, traveling at those high speed. So it was really something that was challenging but it, it, that is satisfying as well uh, today to see how much it's changed the Assassin's Creed experience. Question from Luke Garvey. How accurate is the portrayal of London? Are, the streets, uh, are, are there streets that locals would recognize? I think there are certainly places that you will recognize, although the reproduction of London is not one-to-one. -one. It's a scaled and adapted version, but everybody that's from London who has played the game feels right at home, so I certainly hope that you will feel that too. Question from Jamie Stocker. What's the map size going to be like in comparison to previous games? So this is the biggest city that we have ever built in Assassin's Creed. It's even larger than last year's Assassin's Creed uh, Unity, uh, Paris in Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, but it's a city that is very fun to travel because of the, new, uh, the addition of new travel modes like vehicles and the rope launcher. Question from, um, from Tom Dent. Given that the map of London is much larger than previous games, will there be options for fast travel? Of course, there will be options uh, to fast travel uh, to about 20 different locations in the map. A question from Connor West. What was the decision going for twins as the lead characters of Assassin's Creed Syndicate? So the reason we chose to go with twin leads is uh, we really felt that we had to, uh, we wanted to innovate, to bring new innovations, not just in terms of gameplay with vehicles and the rope launcher, but as well in terms of narrative, in terms of storytelling. So having those two protagonists that, uh, that bicker, that discuss things, that challenge each other, uh, is something that feels really fresh from a narrative perspective. S question from Cybertron Kid. Uh, which part of London was the most fun to recreate in the game? Well, for someone who's not from London, I would have to say that Westminster, all the areas surrounding uh, Westminster Palace, uh, Westminster Abbey was something that's really fun because that's the place uh, around London that you always see in movies. So it's something that was fun to recreate. Question from Bradley Edwards. Is the parkour system going to be different than the one featured in Assassin's Creed Unity? It builds upon the foundations that were created in Assassin's Creed Unity, but uh, we have improved upon the, uh, this, this gameplay to make it smoother, to make you feel more in control of where the assassin is going to go. Question from Daniel Cox. How does Jacob's grapple change the dynamic of assassination missions? Well, the, uh, the grappling hook, the rope launcher, uh, changes the way you approach any situation because since it's a systemic tool that you can use anywhere it gives you a lot of freedom to set up assassinations in the way that you want so there's a lot of uh, more freedom to those assassination missions than ever before question from Lauren Rulston with Evie's ability to cloak and become invisible will this be limited or only available in short bursts so when Evie uses the chameleon ability, she doesn't become invisible. She becomes very well blended into the environment. So you still need to be careful to make sure that enemies don't accidentally bump into you or get too close to you. So again, you're really blended with the, uh, the, uh, the environment when you are not moving. So this is the con condition for this ability to work. Questions from Jake Gray. When it comes to the chase scenes with carts and horses, are you able to damage your cart or objects on the path? And also, how freely can you move when being chased? Is there a set path or are your options open? 
So once you uh, jump onto a vehicle and take control of it, you can go wherever you want in the city. Uh, you'll have to be careful not to damage your cart because if you ram into other carts, you will damage it. So they are fully destructible as well as the environment. Question from Darren Stonehold. How diverse and accessible is the new equipment in the game? For example, how easy is it to escape from an unwanted fight with the new gadgets that we have? Well, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to escape a fight, I would strongly advise that you drop a smoke bomb and use your rope launcher to get to the highest building. So you've got a lot of flexibility to escape. You could even uh, just drop a smoke bomb and jump on a vehicle and you'll get away from conflict uh, in, a, in a minute. Question from Emma Petty. What uh, sort of range of customization will we have for Jacob and Evie's outfits? And will we see multiple armor sets like in previous games? So you'll be able to choose from a, from a good amount of, uh, of outfits for Jacob and Evie. You'll be able to customize uh, capes uh, for Evie, belts for Jacob. Of course, the coat that they wear, you'll be able to customize uh, their weapons, uh, their guns, and also the color of the outfits. So you'll have a very good range of customization to make sure that you can build the character that you want. Thank you for your questions and I hope you enjoy Assassin's Creed Syndicate on October 23rd.